Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we got a mill tank on my team! And I am super excited because I've always wanted to train one, but for one reason or another, haven't really been able to. So this is exciting. Also, it has occurred to me that I completely failed to explain the reasoning behind the Caterpie name. So I have looked up the reasoning so that I could explain it best, and now I will explain it. So, in the Pokemon cartoon, way back in Episode 4, Ash and Misty were traveling through the forest, and Misty freaks out because she sees a bug Pokemon. Misty is afraid of bugs. Now, for context, in Japanese, the Japanese word for bug is... Where is it? There it is. The Japanese word for bug is mushi. And the Japanese word for cow is ushi. So when Missy is freaking out being all mushi, 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 Ash suggests that Missy said ushi. And, um, oh, where, come on. He dresses up as a cow to make the joke. Now, of course, in English, cow and bug do not sound the same, so that joke would not have worked at all. So what the translators did is when Misty freaks out about seeing a bug, Ash suggests that she saw a cow terpene, an obvious pun of the Pokemon Caterpie. It's a dumb joke, but you gotta give props to the translators for making the joke work. Incidentally, that is not a Miltink costume, that is just a regular cow costume, kind of implying that cows are a thing in the Pokemon world. It's not the only time that the show showed regular animals in the Pokemon world. I recall an episode that showed regular fish. Actually, that reminds me. The show also implied that humans ate Pokemon sometimes. I'm not entirely sure I like the idea of turning Miltank into a hamburger. It is way too cute for that. I mean, I know that there are people who would be all, Oh, you are just so ding cute. I could eat you all up. No! Miltank is so cute, I don't want to eat it up. I don't care if I am a dragon. I'll just eat chicken instead. Anyway, our current location is Celadon City in Kanto. We're going to go ahead and explore the city, and then move on to somewhere else. Actually, before we move on to somewhere else, I'm kind of interested in grabbing a thing here from Roboboy's inventory. Let's go ahead, where is the pink bow? Oh, we got two of them, that's right. Is it any wonder that the remakes changed out one of the pink bows for another item? Having two pink, do pink bows is kind of redundant. So we're gonna give Caterpie the pink bow to buff up its normal type attacks. Oh, we got this upgrade as well. Uh, we don't need to carry that. Go ahead and deposit that. Strikeback says Farfetch'd is a duck that brings its own leak. Yeah, Farfetch'd is one of those Pokemon that are also implied to be eaten. I mean, it makes sense that humans would eat Pokemon. Pokemon eat other Pokemon. A bit of a scary thought whenever you consider all Pokemon are sentient. It's a good thing that I am a Pokemon with poisonous barbs. Pokemon get more friendly if you spend time with them. Erika is a master of grass Pokemon. No, I am a Pokemon, period. She'll make you pay if you don't watch yourself. Team Rocket's hideout is in the basement of the game corner. Oh wait, that was three years ago.
This Polyrath is my partner. I wonder if it'll ever evolve into a frog Pokemon. Hint, hint, Poliwhirl evolves into a frog Pokemon. But once it evolves into Poliwrath, that is that. Okay, just real quick, let me open up this guide here. Celadon City. There are, in fact, hidden items here. There are a couple items hidden here. I will keep those in mind for now. Let's go ahead and hip up here. Stripeback is asking, isn't Polyrath already a frog? No, it's like um, an overgrown tadpole. Like a kid who never grew up. I can kind of relate, actually. No, oh, there's no Eevee up here. Let me recount a terrifying tale. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who was given a new bicycle. He wanted to try it right away. He was having so much fun that he didn't notice the sun had set. While riding home in the pitch black night, the bike suddenly slowed. The pedals became heavy. When he stopped pedaling, the bike began slipping backwards. It was as if the bike were cursed and trying to drag him into oblivion. Shriek! The boy had been riding uphill on cycling road. But um, but um. For listening so patiently, you may take this. TMO3. TMO3 is Curse. It's a terrifying move that slowly whittles down the victim's HP. Well, if you're a ghost Pokemon, sure. I forget what the effect is whenever you're not a ghost. I think it lowers power points. Also, what the heck? That was that was a story. I did I did not expect to come up here hearing a story like that. So even back in Generation 2, Pokemon was trying to be creepy. Or heck, in Generation 1, we already had l the Lavender Tower. Okay, Maddie says Curse lowers your speed, but raises your attack and defense by one stage each. That sounds like it would be kind of handy. Want to know a secret? Celadon Mansion has a hidden back door. Oh, yeah. We were already there, in fact. This is Celadon Mansion, right? Celadon Mansion. Stripeback says Curse's effect is a pun in Japanese. The move's name can either mean curse or slow, depending on context. Oh, one of those words that has multiple meanings. Here I thought only the English language had those words. Those words are confusing. Well, not as confusing as Pokemon language, where just saying Pinka or Nido can have different meanings depending on inflection and all sorts of things. My dear Pokemon keep me company, so I don't ever feel lonely. Meowth even brings money home. So you're the crazy cat lady if your crazy cats had the ability to make your money. An incense burner. So we got a Meowth, a Clefairy, and a Nidoran. A Nidoran male from the sound of it. So, I appreciate your style and choice of animals. Game Freak Meeting Room. Nobody likes going to meetings. Robo-Boy turned on the PC. Someone was in the middle of composing an email. I hope you'll come visit Kanto. I think you'll be surprised at how much things have changed here. You'll also see many Pokémon that aren't native to Johto. To the producer. Difficult books. Maddie says, thankfully, the saying their name thing is anime only. 
And the game's canon is that Pokemon make animal noises usually. Actually, here's a fun fact. So, we had the anime, and we also had the comic adaptation of the anime, which was a Nintendo Power. So, Onyx's original appearance. In his original appearance in the anime, he goes, Roar. But in the comics, he shouts his name, Onyx. I think there were also a few other instances during those first few issues, but it's kind of interesting. Is that right? Yeah. I have, in fact, still have those. Nintendo Power did this little mini-series called Pokemon Power, where they had a guide for the Pokemon games Red and Blue, and in each issue, they had one episode of the anime. I'm the game designer. Filling up your Pokédex is tough, but don't give up. No, we're not even trying. Who, me? I'm the programmer. Play the slot machines. You bet we will. It's the game program. Messing with it could put a bug in the game. That sounds fun. Aren't the twins adorable? Jasmine's pretty too. Oh, I love them. It's crammed with reference materials. There's even a Poke Doll. I'm the graphic artist. I drew you. You know, it would be really interesting to be a cartoon character. Like, actually being a living cartoon character, cell shaded and all. And it's like, huh, I am a living creature, I am sentient. And yet, I was drawn. Wonder who drew me? It's a detailed drawing of a pretty girl. Unfortunately, not the player character. That would not happen until... Pokemon Crystal. Strikeback is asking, so Erica, if you led a gym, what type would it be and what Pokemon would you use? Poison types. Of course, I would be using some sort of Nidos. I would probably, for rookie trainers, use Nidoran male and female. For the experts, I would definitely raise up a Nido King and Nido Queen. As for other poison types, uh, tough choice. I hadn't really thought of other poison types. Ooh, it's mall time! This apartment store is part of the same chain as the one in Goldenrod City. They were both renovated at the same time. This is my first time here. It's so big. I'm afraid I'll get lost. Hello, welcome to Celadon Department Store. The directory is on the wall. Oh, well that's handy. Less likely to get lost that way. Service counter, trainer's market, TM shop, Wiseman gifts, drugstore, vending machines. Let's start with the vending machines. And we'll work our way down from there. Gimme. So, other poison type Pokemon. Ooh! Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur are a few choices. It is really cool that Generation 1 had poison type starters. Even if you didn't really use their poison typing very much. What are some others? Not sure if I would use Coughing and Wheezing or Muck and Grimer. Beedrill? Hmm. I don't know. I would probably just be best left as an early trainer.
like the first or second gym leader. Of course, context is everything. It depends on when trainers encounter me. I might be early to my hometown, but maybe somebody will come from another country, such as we are with Roboboy. A vending machine with a prize roulette. You never see those anymore. That's, that's not a thing, is it? No. I suppose it does kind of look like it has a roulette, though. Never really thought about that. Aw, oh, there's no games here. I wanted to play. Gaming seems to be a big thing. A quote-unquote gaming. It's not exactly video games. More like gambling. Which is what it is. I really am... Um, finding myself annoyed whenever I come across a place where there's a big old sign that says gaming here and it's just slot machines how about an arcade cabinet of Donkey Kong that would be fun I want to buy some items that raise Pokemon stats but I don't have enough money uh, I kind of used up some of my money on buying hyper potions and I thought I didn't really need to buy them didn't do much fighting after Viridian no Vermillion. So I'm gonna have to hold off on these for a while. I want PP up so I can raise the PP of mu of Moos, but you can't buy it. Using items on them makes Pokemon happy. They hate certain items though. Yeah, bitter items. You know, that's an interesting thought about PP-Ups. You can't buy them, you can only find them lying on the ground. My question is, who dropped them, and where they did they find them? Express yourself with gifts, Wiseman gifts. Actually, while we are on the subject of gifts, yes, we will in fact buy a Poké Doll. This is the only place where you can buy lovely mail. I'm here to buy surf mail to send to my girlfriend. Lots of Pokemon merchandise. Those kind of look like coolers. I was expecting refrigerated items, but now that I think about it, you're not selling things that would be in the fridge. TM Shop. Make your Pokemon stronger. The TM Shop sells some rare moves. Yeah! I'm finally getting a Porygon! I'm no good at the slots, so I could never get enough coins. Huh? The traded Porygon turned into a different Pokemon. Yeah, that is what the upgrade item is. If you trade a Porygon that is holding an upgrade, it evolves into Porygon 2. Uh-oh. I traded my Pokemon without removing the upgrade from it. Well, there you go. I can't decide which Pokemon I should use this TM on. You know, that is totally the issue with TMs, and I'm glad that we live in an age where TMs can be used multiple times. Unfortunately, Sword and Shield are going back to that era by having a new type of TM that is one use. That is unfortunate and annoying. You know what else is annoying? Not knowing what these TMs are. So I'm going to go ahead and look them up. Hello there, Terrance! So let's see here. Celadon Department Store. What are the items that is being sold here? Generation 2. We got Roar, Dig, Secret Power, Hyper Beam... Brick Break, and Attract? Oh wait, that's Generation 3. Let's try this again. Okay. Hidden Power, 
Protect, Sandstorm, Sunny Day, and Rain Dance. That is nowhere near a good list of Pokemon. I mean, maybe Protect would be useful, but I, I am a disappoint. And this is going to be regular items. Revive, Super Repel, not going to worry about repelling anything. Just in case, buying an Ultra Ball. You never know. Escape Rope, don't have to worry about that for a while. Hey, and I am bummed that Dig actually can't be bought here. Aren't we out of Paralyzed Heals? Well, we got full heals. Might be worth getting some Paralyzed Heals, though. They take up inventory space, but they're cheaper. Do you even have full heal? Yeah, full heal is 600, Paralyzed Heal is 200. So I will buy the equivalent of one full heal. Top grade items for trainers. Trainers market. My dad's having a hard time learning the names of items and how they are supposed to be used. I just recently became a trainer. My son encouraged me to do it. I'm impressed by the selection of convenient items. Well, as Maddie points out, it would be nice if they sold ethers, especially this late in the adventure. This department store is... Oh, I already talked to everybody on this floor. So, Hidden Power. I don't like Hidden Power because it's... I actually find it annoying, personally, to try to figure out what type it is and how much power it has. Not to mention, odds are it's not even going to be a good strength. Maddie though, says, I don't know, the one time I gave a Pokemon hidden power, I had a fun time trying to figure out what type it was. Ended up water type, so he got to have a special move. Uh, I don't feel like it would be worth it for me, though, personally. Celadon Department Store has the biggest and best selection of merchandise. If you can't get it there, you can't get it anywhere. Gee, I sound like a sales clerk. Oh boy, this is a lot of empty space here. Looking at the ground while I was walking made me dizzy. I could see how that would be happening. So, what's your story? Do you still give away that egg move? Grimer haven't been appearing lately. See that pond out in front of the house? Grimer live there now. Where did they come from? This is a serious problem. Okay, if there's Pokemon in here, we gotta find out what they are. You think it's encountered by surfing or by fishing? I'm gonna say it's probably through fishing. So we'll fish a few times just real quick, for curiosity's sake at the very least. We'll go with the Old Rod first. Old Rod will probably just get more Meowth. Okay, let's just go to a bigger rod. A bigger and better rod. But we don't have the Super Rod yet, huh? Okay. There's gotta be something here. You were telling me there was something here. Show me what we got. Maybe it was surfing and the encounter rate is just low. 
Maddie says surf only. Well, here we go. Allow me to swim around in this water that is probably slightly toxic for it is filled with Grimer. It's a good thing that I am a poison type Pokemon. Hey, there we go. Togetek. Interesting. It is not a Pokemon that evolves, though, so... We will go ahead and take it out. It does evolve in later generations. Not in this one, though. Also, its evolution is kind of weird. It, it seems like a downgrade, kinda. That's my opinion, anyway. Cool. You just disabled Counterpea's only attack. Could swap out to another Pokemon, but I want to give Counterpea her first victory. It'll be an annoying victory, but it'll be a victory. Oh, that's Defense Curl. I was hoping to lower Togetic's defense. Okay, eventually that needs to stop being disabled. It is not disabled anymore. That was not a lot of experience points, considering it was level 20. Okay, well we found out what was in there. Let's go ahead and head into our first episode break now. And when we come back from this break, we are going to head to the casino!